What's happening everybody? Street here, PC Gamer and Shenanigans Extraordinaire. What are we looking at here? We're looking at a, uh, a GPU. It's looking rather dusty and nasty as well. Man, I have three dogs, two kids, and a household that is active and just collecting dust on a regular day basis, as is everybody's, but still, I got a lot of dust build up in my house, and if you guys are like anything like me, you're taking your computer outside and just blowing all the dust out of it at least once a month, so when that fails, then you gotta go to the next step, and I'm about to show you guys how to do that. I already got some little chunks of dust accumulating around here. Um, I started I started tearing this thing down and realized that, you know what, there's not a lot of good videos online of the Dual X 7970 Sapphire um, teardown, so I wanted to kind of do my own anyway for, for my community, and you guys know that in the past I used to do um, a lot of videos on, you know, helping people out fix their PC, and I, I've helped build PCs for people over Skype, and um, you know, just all around, I understand the frustration when it comes something wrong with your with your computer. So, I'm gonna do a teardown of this, and I'm gonna clean it out because this thing's been running while gaming. It's been running at like 80 degrees Celsius, and that is way too hot. And if I keep running it like that, I'm gonna start to fry the board. So. We're gonna replace the thermal compound, we're gonna give it a good dusting, and we're gonna clean it all out and uh, get this thing running back where it should be now. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and tear it down now. I I've already taken the screws out, which bad juju on street here. Um, there's a bunch of screws in here, and I, I shouldn't really have to show you guys which screws to unscrew, because any screw on the bottom is basically holding in the card itself. So, or the cool, the cooler, I should say. So, once we took all the screws out, which are right here, um, we're, we're able to pop this thing off. Now, it will be attached over here. The fan will be attached to that plug right there, and we've, we've undid that. Now, look at this thermal compound. You know, it's a wonder why it's running at 80 to 81 degrees Celsius while uh, gaming and e even at idle in my house, which is always air conditioned because it's so hot here That it's still running like 50 degrees Celsius. I remember when this thing was brand new It was running at like 31 degrees Celsius on idle and it would never break 60 55 or 60 while gaming so Let's go ahead and give this thing a good thorough cleaning and uh, Let's see what, what how much we can bring these numbers down. I think it's gonna be pretty substantial so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip this thing over and I actually already started this a little bit but I have a little brush here which is actually used for um, like cleaning clippers to like hair clippers so like when I shave my head I took the brush out of it and never used it and I use this as like my detailed brush because I just needed something and there's a lot of little there's a lot of little pieces that catch on here so what I like to do is just very lightly brush off all these pieces and just get all the dust off the back of the board because you know what? The dust build up on some of these little um, capacitors and little transistors and things add to the, the overall heat as well. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to dust this off the best I can and then I'll get back with you guys after uh, I finish with that. All right, we've got this thing dusted off the best we can. Um, I try to get in there real deep. You can see the stroke, like the brush strokes and stuff, but I mean, let's see if it'll focus here. You can see the accumulation of dust that has actually like kind of burnt to some of the transistors and things, but it is much, much cleaner than it was. So it's looking really, really good right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put this piece aside now. I mean, this is the actual board itself, so. We're gonna do the same thing and do some detailed work and get all this dust out in here. And then we're gonna probably take this thing outside and I have a uh, shop back that I changed the uh, nozzle over to a different a different portion. It turns it into a blower and I don't even know how to, like, how to explain it. I'm sure most of you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's, uh, that's something we can do. And to be totally honest, I'm looking at my board right now and thinking, I did not have to take all those screws out. <laughs> like, I thought all these black pieces would come up with it, but I guess not. All I had to do is take these four middle pieces out. So um, I actually didn't need to do that, but 
While I'm here, I think I'll go ahead and pop this piece up and get all the dust out from under it. And uh, we'll just do a real good thorough job on this here. All right, guys, let's clean this up. I'm gonna show you guys the same thing with the brush. I'm just gonna kind of get in areas. I'm gonna brush all the dust out and we're gonna get it all cleaned up. So hold on and uh, I'll be right back when I'm finished dusting it out. All right, check that out, man. Got most of the dust. It's not perfect and it's not gonna be perfect, but you can tell from before and after that it looks amazing now. So we got most of the dust off of it and now it's time to clean this bad boy right here. This is the actual freaking heart of the beast right here, man. This is, this is what you need to keep the heat off of too. So we're gonna go ahead and just wipe this. Um, we're gonna get some of the excess off right now and I usually just use a paper towel in my hand. Let's see, this is hard to do while holding a camera, but we're gonna go ahead and wipe this off and wow, it's completely dry. Like it, it did, it's just, it's just powder now. So this was definitely my problem and the amount of performance, well not performance, but the amount of cooling I'm gonna end up getting off of this is gonna be amazing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm gonna get a little alcohol because this should have a mirror finish. And I'm gonna get an alcohol and a Q-tip and just swab this a little bit. So let me go and grab that. I was not prepared. And actually, let's go ahead and just wipe this off too here. Wow, it's powder, dude. That's crazy. It is so bad. So bad, dude. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get some alcohol. We're gonna clean this up. And I'm just gonna take a Q-tip. Let's just, rather than try to make another segment for this, um, you're gonna get a Q-tip, the little alcohol, and you're just gonna wipe, okay? Just very slowly. You're gonna wanna wipe nice. Don't use a lot, just a little bit, and um, we're gonna just get it really, really clean, and then we'll, we'll make sure we dry it because you want it to just be just a mirror when you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clean this off. I'm gonna clean this piece off here because that's the contact. And then I'm actually gonna go outside and I'm gonna blow this out with the uh, the shot back again. And uh, you guys know, I mean, you just gotta get all this dirt out. Get as much dirt out as you can. I mean, you could take that all apart and really get in there, but I don't think it's gonna be necessary. Um, shot back should do the trick. And if not, if you guys have like a vacuum with like a brush on it, you can kind of get in some of the nooks and crannies that way as well. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go and get the alcohol. We're gonna clean this up a little bit, blow out the dust, and I'll be back to show you guys how to apply the thermal paste. All right, guys, be right back. All right, guys, here we are. Give that a little blow off there. <laughs> this thing is looking nice. It's got a nice mirror finish. I actually need to wipe it one more time. I just got some dust and I brought this back in. Now you can see that this is not perfect, but all the grates are cleared. Um, the big clumps are gone and it's looking pretty nice, man. It blew a lot of dust out. I'll get my finger in here, I'll wipe some of this out, but for the most part, it is it is clear. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and apply the thermal paste. Now, what you guys wanna do, I wipe this one more time here. Make sure it's nice and clean. This is probably, as I'm making this, I'm thinking this is probably like the worst tear down video ever because I'm not really showing you guys how to do it. <laughs> I'm showing you guys before and afters, which is not the best way to do it, but I hope some of you guys appreciate this. All right, let's blow some of that remaining dust off. Okay, get yourself a little bit of this. Now, this stuff is basically um, some of the best stuff you can get, at least as far as I know. So this is uh, Arctic Silver 5. Um, this is the stuff that I generally use, so I'm really focusing there. There you go. High density. Um, this stuff works nice, and a little bit goes a long way, you guys. So let's just go ahead and let's put a little dab right in the middle of this bad boy. And right there, that's probably enough. A little dab will do ya, okay? Now what we do from here is trying to record this and do it at the same time. I'm sorry, I'm struggling a little bit. Just take your finger, smear it around, and make sure it covers the whole piece nice and even. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this here so I can do a good job, and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. 
All right, so we've gotten the whole thing covered now. Just a little, little thin layer. I mean, really, dude, it doesn't need, you don't need a lot. This stuff goes a long way. So once you've gotten it all covered, you've got this piece, piece all cleaned off, um, you're ready to uh, put it back on there. So basically from there, all it's gonna be is realigning the holes. Um, not too big of a deal. We're just gonna kind of pop this thing on here. I'm gonna look at it from the back side and uh, we're gonna screw it all back down, man. And then we're gonna plug it in and see how much better it's running. So thank you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to bolt this thing all down, put the screws all back in it. And then we're gonna go plug it into the computer and check out some of those temps and see what we brought it down to. This should hopefully, if everything went right, prolong this car's life for hopefully a little while longer. I didn't let it bake too long, but I could tell that I was, I should have did this months ago. So let's go ahead and get it all screwed back up and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back guys. I went ahead and got all the screws put back in. Um, one thing I did want to note is that these things are spring loaded anyway, but make sure you don't crunch these down too tight. Um, you don't want to put too much pressure on that die. So when you, when you screw it in, just be cautious. The whole time you're doing this, please be super gentle. Now, the more that I'm, I'm making this video, I'm realizing how shitty it really was. And I apologize for not really getting deep and in, in detail. I mean, it's, it's really a very simple process. It's just a matter of getting the balls to open the thing up. I mean, I understand I paid like $400 for this card, you know, two years ago or something. And it's hard to just open it up in fear that you're gonna break something. But really, these things are, it's basically the card and the cooler. So it's its not too difficult. And if yours is, is looking anything like mine, I recommend definitely doing this. I did not realize how bad the thermal compound really was in there. It was really, really bad. And now this thing has got a fresh, uh, fresh patch of thermal compound. The cooler is all dusted out. The board is dusted off and it's gonna be amazing. I already know. So let's go ahead and plug this into the computer. Let's get it all mounted back up and then let's fire up the beast and let's see what kind of temps we're running at now. All right, we got her all plugged in and she's uh, she's running. So she's she's basically running about nine degrees cooler at idle, which is amazing. I'll take it. Um, fan control. Let's, uh, no, I'll leave it where I had it. I was gonna say, I like running my fans pretty high anyway, just to keep them cool, but let's go ahead and turn here. Let's turn the culling on. Let's go ahead and check this, dude. I'm sorry about that flash. <laughs> freaking just the light, the LED light, just all up in the freaking, uh, all up in the shot here. All right, it's gonna start heating up pretty good. Let's see how hot it gets. Now this this game would have it running at about 82 to 83 degrees Celsius, just right at the loadout screen. So let's see what it's loading or what it's running now. Go baby, go. Load it up, man. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna do some gaming right now after I'm done making this little video and uh, see what's actually happening. All right, let's go to my loadout screen because this is where it was just like right here was killer. It would just bring this thing up so high. So right now it's at 55 degrees Celsius. Fan speed's at 80%. It'll probably heat up here for a little bit, but such an amazing difference. I mean, it would be at like 79 right now already and it would still be pumping and, and just getting hot as shit. So you guys, I know that was a pretty poor example. Um, I, I didn't really get too much detail in, but I hope that some of you can can find some use out of this. Um, maybe just seeing what the 7970 looks like after it's torn down. I went looking for um, different videos on maybe ideas that people had before I decided to actually strip the thing apart, and it was uh, it was far and few. <laughs> so. I decided to put one together myself and this thing is still slowly climbing, but man, it would be 20 degrees hotter right now, guaranteed, uh, just idling on this page right here. So win for street, yes. I bet it gets up to about 66 while I'm playing and that's probably gonna be about it. Let's go ahead and just start this up. Let's go to a free for all and uh, let's see what it actually does here now. <laughs> Average time's about three minutes, so I will cut the video here for a sec to get the actual gameplay in, and then we'll see what it looks like. But 
we're doing good right now, boy. And this thing is overclocked. Um, my overclock is 1200 by 1700. And I got the voltage is uh, the voltage at 1.25. So um, if I didn't have this thing overclocked, it would probably stay right at about 60 degrees or something while playing. You know, what, let's not do this. Let's go ahead and just go into a private game because this is gonna take forever, dude. And I don't wanna. Um, no, I don't wanna do that. I don't want to do this. Okay, let's go play, practice. My dogs are fighting in the background, which is awesome. Yeah, see, so we're at 59. Watch, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a long time overdue. I'm gonna have to do the same thing in my CPU here soon. Get that i7 running a little cooler and just get the whole thing. It's summertime now, so heat counts, man. And uh, even though I have the AC on most of the summer because it hits 110 here, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be hot. All right, so we're running smooth, we're running nice. And we're at 62 degrees, baby. 63, I bet it doesn't max out more than like 66 or something. Amazing. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm gonna do some gaming. I'm actually gonna probably make you guys some videos now and uh, enjoy uh, the new cooling on the 7970. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.